Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coast the Channel here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks, so and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we have breaking news from Gardaland in Italy because they've confirmed the name and theme of their brand new attraction for 2022, replacing the Ramses Dark Ride, Ramses the Awakening. And uh, we've got all the details in this video, so please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here click notification bell so you never miss another youtube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's try and get to 2600 subscribers as soon as possible let's get to a million views as soon as possible and let's get talking about jumanji the adventure at Gardaland. love the name already so this is from Gardaland's official website, this official mini site that's been set up, gardaland.it slash jumanji slash. I've linked it in the description down below so you can check it out for yourselves. There's plenty more coming soon, which we'll do a separate video of as well. So it officially says as follows, new 2022, the world's first Jumanji themed attraction. Are you ready for an exciting adventure? Enter the wild world of Jumanji and take a journey full of danger where only you can defeat the curse. Challenge the jungle of Jumanji aboard your jeep and make your way through dangerous animals, obstacles of all kinds and a mighty stone giant. In a race against time, return the sacred precious gem to the legendary temple and save Jumanji. The adventure is about to begin. Keep following us. And they will reveal more from the construction site and uh, the attraction on the mini site uh, in due course but in terms of any other details that you guys want to know about this uh, we know that um, uh, John Burton uh, will be the uh, creative lead on the project he's been the creative lead for many a project um, obviously around different parts of the world um, and, and especially in the UK as well he was involved in Gangster Granny the Ride um, you, you, you know that John's going to be, you know, really, really up for this. And I think that, um, you know, John Burton being the head creative of this project and the head Merlin creative, I think this is another project that he's absolutely, him and his team have absolutely nailed this on the money. Now, looking at the concept art of exactly what's going on here with this project, obviously you can see it on your screen throughout this report. It definitely looks, I mean, they describe it, I mean, I mean, look at what John said on Twitter. He said, I'm so excited to be the creative lead on what is the largest dart ride to date. It's full of adventure and has some of the industry's best expert teams working on it. That definitely hints to a dart ride, even though the rumor, or one of the big rumors from the start of this project, when we first heard rumors of Ramses closing for a brand new attraction for next year, was the rumor of an indoor roller coaster and specifically an intermin multi-launch family coaster with a track drop so obviously that you know this has been the largest dark ride to date is very very interesting and i'm going to share my thoughts on all about this project that's been revealed so far Ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, that is sharing the details from the website and also a tweet from the head of creative at Merlin, John Burton, about Jumanji the Adventure at Gardaland. And I can say this is fan dabby dozy. Um, it's back. The catchphrase is back. Get it printed on a t shirt, save you about 20 quid. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a wonderful project, I can guarantee you of that. Now, as the head creative said on Twitter, it's the largest dart ride to date. Um, it does, you know, does this top Darren Brown's Ghost Train financially, uh, theming wise, the scale of the attraction? Sounds like it does top Darren Brown's Ghost Train because Darren Brown's Ghost Train is the most expensive project Merlin has ever done. Uh, this is topping any of the coasts they've put into the parks in their chain. Smiler at Alton Towers. Um, you know, Wicker Man as well, you know, all these different projects, and this is the most expensive one to date. I mean, Darren's Ghost Train is the one exp most expensive one to date, but come 2022, the largest dark ride to date sounds like it will top Darren Brown's Ghost Train in terms of financial, physical, and scaling stats. Um, now, whether Jumanji the Adventure preys on the largest dark ride to date statistics and technical data around that, and use it to the advantage rather than pales in the budget 
compared to Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which in my opinion pales on the budget. I think many people in the enthusiast community will say that. It pales on the budget. It doesn't live up to the standards of the budget and the theming level on the outside. Um, the attraction actually inside that attraction at Thorpe Park Resort, uh, in my opinion, and I think in a lot of people's opinion, doesn't really live up to the expectations set by the budget and the scaling of the attraction. You know, will Jumanji the Adventure do that? I've got every possibility and every confidence that it will. Um, I think they've learned the lessons of Darren Brown's Ghost Train when it comes to large dark rides or large scale dark rides and, and attractions indoors like that. And I think that Jumanji the Adventure will live up to the standards in my opinion. I think the theming level for this could be incredible. You could tell by the, the theming level of the Jeeps. I mean, they look incredible. And from the track, it looks like it could um, do some really nice elements in there. Now, in terms of the manufacturer, a few, a couple of forums, including the Coast Force Forum, a couple of people saying uh, Garmondale involved in this. It wouldn't be surprised if they were, because obviously Alton Towers working with Garmondale on Gangster Granny the Ride with their spin, motion spin master attraction concept. Um, so it wouldn't be surprised to see Millen Entertainment and Garmondale, you know, working together again uh, with the success of Gangster Granny. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Garmondale and Merlin Entertainment, you know, created that partnership again or did like a two for one deal including the Gardenland attraction for next year. And uh, it was nice of Gardenland to say it was the world's first Jumanji attraction because we all know deep down that's what the theme of Chessington's 2023 coaster is. So, you know, Gardenland's getting ahead of Chessington by a year here. And um, very likely that Chessington will follow suit with the world's first Jumanji themed coaster. Um, so that's the sort of strategy I think they're going with this Jumanji IP. My worry, and I think this is with all intellectual properties, what happens when they run out? How do you originalize the attraction? If you can't extend the IP, how do you create an original story around this? Will they take the Jumanji aspects out of it and just create an original jungle story? My best guess is that will be the case. Um, and I think it should be really interesting to see how they develop. I think while the IP lasts, I think it should be interesting to see how Gardaland develop the story because the, the story to a good dart ride is you need a good collage of scenes. You don't want what... I mean, look back to 2012. One of the rumoured uh, plans for the Walt Disney Studios park in terms of redeveloping the whole thing was... Um, there was a whole plan where it involved having a clash of themes that wouldn't feel like the original design of the Walt Disney Studios part from 2002. Looking back on that, the story to a good dark ride is what I looked with that as an example, for, uh, in my opinion. And that is you don't want a clash of scenes out of order, out of sync, doesn't make sense. That's not going to work for me. One thing that would work for a great dart ride, whatever the scale of the dart ride, large, small, medium, etc., extra large, extra small, is you need a good transition of scenes in order and it would work. And in terms of the effects, the effects have got to be spot on at the right time because it, will, it, will, it won't make sense otherwise. The effects at the right time, like for example, if you're going through a temple and it's foggy in the next scene and the scene before that you're going to go into that scene was... I don't know, going through a bar, ready to trek towards the foggy temple. The foggy temple. So, my way of working with that would be you go from that bar scene with the animatronics and the scenery, etc. And as you go through the door or, or whatever sort of gateway into the next scene, would be that you would start to feel a little bit of fog going into it. So, you sort of feel the track, you sort of feel yourself getting nearer and nearer and there'd be a bit of fog on the floor going towards it. That's the whole thing about the transition of scenes, and Garland are gonna hit this absolutely on the money. John Burton, the Merlin creative team, they've gotta hit this on the nail on the head. Do I have confidence they can do that in the modern world of dark rides? I believe they can. And it should be seen to be believed whether they hit the nail on the head as expected. I think they will, I've got faith in them, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it pulls off. So. There we go, guys. That is all from Jumanji the Adventure at Gardaland in 2022. I can't wait for this. But until then, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Jumanji-tastic day.